When I open my mouth, out of my mouth, my dead mother and father came. Yes. They were speaking through me about their experience in this country. And I know that everyone in this room understands that. It takes a lot to have three committee rooms full of black Caribbean people in this country come down to Parliament. And so the first thing to say is that the relationship between this country and the Caribbean is a 400 year relationship. It does not begin with the Windrush children. It is a relationship that begins in the continent of Africa yes. when 400 years ago, yes. Africans were brought yes. by English people over to the Caribbean. Yes. It is a story after the end of slavery where we become colonized people. And it's in that journey, as part of the British Empire, that we became British subjects. Yes. West Indian and Caribbean people died fighting in the First World War. Yes. West Indian and Caribbean people died fighting in the Second World War. Yes. And when we came here, under the 1948 Nationality Act and Windrush, we came invited yes. as British yes. subjects. Yes. So you don't get 70 years later yeah. to send us back over the Atlantic as if we did not toil for this country. Yes. And when we speak from our experience, we speak from an experience of a community that came to this country and gave us the NHS. I think of yes. all of my aunts who yes. fought the NHS. Yes. I think of my mother working at Camden Town Tube Station and the many who built our modern transport system. I think of so many West Indian and Caribbean people who did the jobs that many others did not want. So when we listen to Amber Rudd talk about our contribution to this country, the Caribbean contribution to this country started 400 years ago, and it's in every single bank account in this country. So we have had this blanket apology, but as Caribbean and West Indian people, this time round, we want reparation. Yeah. If you have been denied yeah. cancer treatment yeah. on the NHS yeah. yeah. that you have worked and paid your taxes yeah. for, yeah. you deserve reparation. Yeah. 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 If you have been detained yeah. As a prisoner in your own country, my yeah. God, you deserve yeah. reparation. Yeah. If you have been deported across the Atlantic yeah. to a country you never knew, you deserve reparation. <laughs> if you have lost your job, if you have lost your pension, you deserve reparation yes. and compensation. Yes. And so we ask Theresa May, and Amber Rudd to get into the detail. Yeah. These poor people have had to fork out fortunes for lawyers. Yes. You deserve reparation and compensation yes. for the hardship that you have been put through. You people
people deserve an individual apology. Yes. They deserve detail yes. of, a comp of compensation yes. and how yes. the state yes. is going yes. to make recompense. Yes. And, and you set up this hotline. But let's be absolutely clear. This can't be a hotline where people are going to have to jump through the same evidence yes. Yes. hoops that they were asked to before. How many people have a pay slip going back to the 1960s and no 70s? One. No one. How many people can ring up their primary school from the 1960s and 70s and there. expect them to still yeah. have a record? Yeah. You destroyed our history in those family jobs. Same. No, no, no. Criminal. Caribbean and West Indian people now deserve a blanket exemption. We have contributed to this country. We don't now need to demonstrate our history in this country. So lower that burden that is this evidence bar that you are asking for. And one final thing. This has come about by design. And that design is a hostile environment to immigrants in this country. And we know more than many others what hostile environments look like. So we want a review of that hostile environment policy. And we note, as we have this Commonwealth Heads of Government conference and see these Commonwealth Heads of Government arrive, and we think about the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm. Many of us reflect, if this is not about race, why there aren't Australians, yeah. that Canadians, right? New right. Zealanders, yeah. and white South Africans yeah. amongst those who've experienced this hostile environment. As Martin Luther King said, justice delayed is justice denied. Yes. Our time has come. Yes. Thank you very much, Dave, for that speech. That was part two, and there are going to be more parts. I can see that. You've built up, aren't you? Anyway, we're going